Hello and welcome back to Pepperoot Gaming. I'm Dragoon. And I'm Dirk. Thanks for watching. Tonight we are checking out some new updates to Hydrocraft. That just came out today, I think. What uh what's it do? Well, they added a lot of models. I think it's like 255 new ones. I'm not sure if we can see those on existing items or if we have to find new ones for them. As you can <laughs> tell from what's around on the floor, most of the, the stuff here is still the old um, eyesores. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, this sweet Folgers coffee can. Yeah. What's up, Mother Chaos? Welcome. Hey, good evening. Uh, one thing I did catch while I was checking it out earlier uh, only one item we found that we have on us a box cutter now has a place item there we go. it kind of looks like a jalapeno now oh yeah instead of a, a giant <laughs> green thing amazing <laughs> <laughs> oh, you started playing Hydrocraft. That's awesome. You have to uh, let us know what nice. you think of the grind. Good luck. Always be ready for a rabbit hole. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to have that gun out. On that list? I think um, the experience uh, changes, right? Yeah, there were some experience changes where they... Uh, change things over to vanilla methods, I guess. There must have been some changes in vanilla XP since Hydrocraft started, so they're finally getting caught up there. And there's okay. also tons of redundant items and recipes that have been dropped. That switched over to their vanilla counterparts? Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Well, let's see... Um... What the blast furnace looks like. Yeah. Do you remember what you were getting before? Mm, no. It wasn't a lot. All right. What do I need to make an ingot? Charcoal, ingot, uh, mold, and the ore. So it looks like I just need to have the uh, ingot mold in my hands and just be in the blast furnace. Does that sound safe? Right? Oh, and tongs. Maybe it's vice versa. Maybe it needs to be in there. Very professional. That shot's also said tongs are drainable. So check to see if it's got like a, a durability bar for uses, maybe. I feel like I would have put the tongs in here. Where did I put the tongs? Sure. There's two tongs in the left box. Excellent. Let's grab some more of this copper ore. Did they used to have a Hydrocraft um, tag to them? Uh, there were two. There were tongs and there were wooden tongs, which I believe were the Hydrocraft ones. I don't remember the tongs being an actual vanilla item. Uh, they do not have the Hydrocraft tag. I was just noticing that. All right, let's throw this copper ore in here. Throw this charcoal in here. Oh, nope, it's full. Still no. But I got the tongs. I got them. Do you need to pick up the blast furnace? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, these, this wants tongs of bronze, copper, iron, or steel. Or the wood tongs. Oh. That's so they dropped the vanilla ones. Yes. 
All right, we're going to try this at the, uh, the smelter instead. Did go around gathering up all the wood and branches and brought those over to the carpentry thing, so let me know if you need wooden tongs. Why don't you bring a set just in case? Oh, you know what? We crafted this uh, ingot mold before. Maybe it just doesn't have enough units. This kiln just keeps getting shoved farther and farther in the corner. keeps getting picked up and dropped repeatedly. Mm -hmm. But dropping it, are you body slamming it? Uh, yeah, isn't that how you do it? Not usually, no. And your suplex. We're going to move it back towards the center of the room. Make ink and mold. No experience the for that one, unfortunately. Have, tongs have the durability bar now. Drop it on the ground next to you. Thank you. Okay. Grab these tongs. I've got some ingot molds. This red clay can go to hell. Make copper ingot. Let's go for it. Make all four, baby. Mmm. Roll that sweet green bar footage. 7.8. Experience on the meter. Still not much. I don't know if that's even different. It's different, different er. Maybe. But maybe not. Oh man. Okay. Well, there are a couple other things that we need. Um, surprisingly, even after all of the raids. We do not have the required books to make ammunition. Um, and what else? There's another rabbit hole. Well, there are quite a few rabbit holes. <laughs> um, there's a lot of other changes to Hydrocraft too, though. But the the other rabbit holes, let me pull up the uh, Discord message I sent you when I was looking for stuff to do. Let's see. Uh, we need to get into oil making, oil pressing, which means we also have to get into peanut farming or corn farming. And that's got to wait until springtime. <laughs> um, we have to get into a whole bunch of different things to get the solar array going just for the steel poles. Let's see, it was a uh, steam hammer, steam engine. Um, it was like a five minute rabbit hole just going through seeing, oh, we need to do that. What do we need to do that? Oh, another whole thing. Oh my God. 
Um, yeah, the we were missing a magazine for bullet making and for the steel tongs that are needed for the garden bench. But it's still a lot of stuff. The grind, it never ends. Let's back up for the hydrocraft changes. Let's see. They also fixed the containers getting trapped in cars. Ooh, that's actually that's good. Um, another change that they didn't have to do, but I think is probably a good one, is uh, they removed all of the suicide-related things. Like you can't leave a suicide note and then shoot yourself anymore. Uh, that's yeah. Good. Um, they changed zombie drops to be more thematic. So the office zombies drop office supplies more often. And, uh, survival zombies drop survival items. <laughs> Mother of Chaos says, wait, what? <laughs> oh, you didn't know about the suicide items? I didn't either. <laughs> oh, there's a, a whole section on it, or there was at least. Um, you can turn pieces of paper into notes that you leave, and then uh, I think there are probably ten different ways that you could off yourself <laughs> as a an official suicide way, not just you know drinking bleach. Well, super. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but those are gone. Uh, they still have the anarchy cookbook stuff. Um, milk now uses a milk tag, which I think might mean that you don't need to have a wooden bucket of milk for everything that you do with milk. Thank goodness. And, uh, the last big one, oven mitts now protect you from burn damage on your hands. Somebody heard our cries. Yeah. A little too late. <laughs> <laughs> See, I think my burns might have, yeah, my burns finally healed. Okay. Okay. Not too late for you, Mother of Chaos. Just gotta get your hands on some. Yeah. <laughs> Why is there so much poop in this composter? <laughs> As the uh, dog poop breaks down into compost. <laughs> <laughs> Like, any normal person would, like, pack up, back slowly away, and never come back, ever. It's like, it's full of 46 <laughs> units of raw skin. That is 46 skinned people folded up and jammed into this box, and then covered in poop. Those have been in there for so long. It says it makes compost from it, but I don't believe it. <laughs> I, I don't think it does compost. Skin, <laughs> skinned people. Yeah, um, part of this is you can uh, process zombies into a bunch of different uh, quote-unquote resources. Yep, skin them, butcher them, and then take their bones. Take the head, too. <laughs> Do a, uh, a zombie head in the fish tank. <laughs> is that real? Yeah, it's real. <laughs> they got the idea from Walking Dead, I think. Oh my god. Like, honestly, it, it never surprises me in this game. Like, all of these little things being real. But they sound like jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, a quick nap and then we'll hit the road. Yeah, it uh, looks like my pain's gone away. hands when I forgot to grab some some supplies when cooking charcoal <laughs> happens to the best of us it happened to me several times we didn't have those supplies for you <laughs> ok 
Okay. I'm going to just eat a, a raw potato over here. So we have 160 of them. No need. He seems to be just super into it. He's like, raw potato? Heck yeah. It's potato. <laughs> All right, ready to roll. Let me just clean some bandages before we go. Oh, that's probably smart. Ooh, do I even have bandages? I think I used them all to start the fire. I don't. Easy <laughs> enough to get some more, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Ran outside, <laughs> forgot the dogs were there. Like, round to the corner, I was like, whoa. Did they bark at you? No, they don't bark at anyone. That's the problem. They're well trained, then. <laughs> Good zombie dogs. Wait, they're dogs that are zombies? No, uh, ones that don't lure zombies in. Ah, okay. Do these cows look more 3D to you? <laughs> it's, a, it's a strange That's question. A weird question. Yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe they didn't change. I can't remember if they looked that way before or not. The dogs definitely did not change. Um, I would say no. They do not look uh like they're more three D. Okay. They look like uh, somebody made them in MS Paint and then printed them out and cut them up with real life scissors. <laughs> there used to be a whole bag full of rags. Check the tailor. Uh, across from the kiln tent as soon as you walk in on the right alright It's the only thing I don't like about the uh uh man <laughs> proximity search the proximity search sometimes it gets really messy when you try to uh select multiple things from the drop down Boy, that's a that car's looking rough. Uh, which car would you like to take? Take the Wrangler. It's already set up for breaking down cars. So I'm not really going on a looting run, just a magazine hunt. May as well chop up some vehicles as we see them. Sounds like a plan. Are you sliding on the snow? I think so. I saw some wheel spin. I don't know if it was lag. I'll get it. Wait. I did notice some chugging a lot more now that OBS is open. I don't need to update that. But maybe we are sliding a bit. I think uh, I was sliding when running on snow. Hmm. Yeah, there's like a lot of wheel spin happening. At least visually on my side.
Gotta drop that sucker into four wheel. He's an off road vehicle, right? <laughs> Not doing that great on road. It's even got chains. The wheels are spinning like we should be doing 90. This feels so dangerous. <laughs> yep, that tracks. Could be the residential area just past the hotel after a large uh, intersection. You want to break that down and I'll defend you? Sure. I grab the empty one. Hey, purple look. Hey. Just doing a little mid blizzard welding. I'd stay warm somehow. It doesn't increase the temperature meter, but it does increase body heat. Why don't you drive? I feel like okay. my friend Rip's been dropping a lot lately. figure that out before the next door fortress. Oh, wow. That was a lot more responsive. Okay. Um, you'll have to navigate. Okay. Go straight until I tell you not to go straight. Perfect. I love these kind of directions. Now, can you do it in the voice of a robotic British woman? Go straight until I tell you not to go straight. <laughs> I don't know that that was a couple cars British. if you want to break them down. It's like, <laughs> you tripped me up with the woman part. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, I think we should break these ones down. These are a lot worse. Yeah. I think this might be the intersection also. Oh yeah, look at many map and stuff in the intersection. So just on the other side of this should be the development. Oh, nice shirt, buddy. I can't tell if that's a broken texture or if it's designed to look that way. Um, I think it's designed to look that way. I think the broken texture one is pink or purple Both one black oh that wasn't you uh -oh. did the not me me bite you no i wouldn't let the you you bite me that's good i guess <laughs> i don't think we're as good of friends though <laughs> oh yeah, like real friends let their friends fight them. Yeah. You're telling me that if I was starving you wouldn't let me take a nibble. I mean we could we could come up with terms, right? Like <laughs> this is a real like crash jet on the side of a frozen mountain situation. I think we can come to like an agreement, but it's I'm not gonna have you just like bite into my arm. I'll give you one finger if you give me one finger. <laughs> I think maybe we don't start with fingers. Those are important. 
What part would you start with then? <laughs> Big toe? No, you need that for balancing. I'd say maybe a love handle or something. <laughs> I don't think I have a love handle to offer. <laughs> I was talking about me. <laughs> oh. Guy's got a full on grandma flashlight. Nice. Does it smell like mothballs? No, it's just huge and takes some massive battery that they don't like even really sell. You have to go to, go to the grocery store. D batteries. No, not D. The like massive brick batteries. Oh, uh, the big square ones? Yeah. What were those called? I don't even remember. I thought that my so grandma long. had that flashlight. I, I feel like every grandma did. Okay. Now that that's settled, I need more propane. One bag of chips in this giant trailer. Well, the chips were so good, you needed that whole trailer for them. Sounds about right. Am I just carrying seven propane torches now? Sweet. Let's do it. That turkey noise is so distracting. Like, I always notice it when it plays. It feels like the least... Is Kentucky overrun with turkeys? It feels like it just does not fit in. I think I've only been to Kentucky once. Besides <laughs> driving through it. You think after the downfall of man, all the turkeys like swarm together and they're like, now it is our time, my feathered brothers. <laughs> Someone coming up on you. You see them. <laughs> Not to my knowledge. Do you have a, uh, wealth of knowledge of uh, modern Kentucky. I don't know where you live, so you might. <laughs> Not really me neither. <laughs> Like there's always some family who lives in Kentucky. Like I feel like everyone has a relative that does. I'm just gonna say there there should be a family that lives in Kentucky, at <laughs> least one. Oh boy, there was one side. Oh, there are a lot. Yeah, watch your back. They're coming on this side too. What did you do? Why do you assume it was me? <laughs> Because all of a Maybe sudden... it's your torch. <laughs> uh, I don't think it is. Shotguns in my bag. <laughs> oh boy. They decided to go for you. Good. You are glitching the hell out. Damn, right? It's kind of worrying me with all these zombies. No, I mean, you're, you're really giving them a run for their money. Like, they can't touch you. All of a sudden, you're like four feet in the other direction, then 20 feet the other way. At least on my side, okay. you look real confused.
What? <laughs> You're bamfing all over the place. The uh, new teleportation skill I picked up. I guess so. Is that what happens when you, like, max out cooking? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Still coming in. <laughs> what did you do that made so much noise? I didn't do anything. Mother of Chaos didn't think it's you. What did you eat before we left? A couple of raw potatoes. Mm. I don't think starch makes you fart. I don't think so. Maybe it was the turkeys. <laughs> yeah, they heard the turkey and they're like, oh, fresh meat. I will take those mm. chips, thank you. May have been a giant group of them that were just within your shot of the turkeys and started walking this way. I guess. God, there's more. All of Louisville was waiting to welcome us. I haven't been this far out yet. I think that might be all of them. <laughs> I just watched you go north and then appear down south. I was circling around. What? <laughs> I can't wait until you see this footage of what you look like on my side. <laughs> I vote we leave the metal on the ground and come back for it sometime. That sounds good. Did get metalworking seven. I'm hoping to get eight pretty soon. We need eight, eight for first. making the, the bullet molds. Ooh, water truck. Is that like 8.5% condition? No water in it, too. All right, I got one more car to do. And then I'll have to refill the torches. I'll do that while we drive. Yep. At least I assume you can do that while we drive. I guess we'll find out. A little weeks out around the edge. Thing. Yeah, you don't you don't mind uh, huffing a little propane in the car, do you? Put your window down. <laughs> guess that's a good point here. I'll put all of them on the roof rack and then you can do it what do you mean instead of defending you oh no I'm going to fill them up now you fill them while we're driving that way I can drive instead of uh, just watching the wheels oh, spin right you're driving not me um, it's all snowed over so First left turn you can make. Okay. So I want the propane torch. I'm not in. I'm <laughs> just pulling the uh, propane stuff off the roof. <laughs> it didn't look like you got in. You definitely disappeared. I apologize. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, I got the tanks and I got the torches. I can do the refilling on the move. Nice. Breathe deep. Okay. I'd love that First one. First left you can make. I mean, this is a field. You bent on a road, right? Sure. 
when you're right up here past these uh, stop sign there. Okay. Anywhere in here, we should probably just stop and hit all the uh, mailboxes. Okay. Or make our way to the school and then stop there as our base of operations. Well, uh, what do you think? I saw I'm putting stuff on the roof. Okay. You got my back? I hope. I do. Wait, if you're coming in. Yeah, we Maybe passed. I should get my shotgun out. We passed a few. up maintenance i guess that uh nice. you just gotta you know when your bat starts to bend you gotta know to rotate it just enough so you can start bending it back the other way and how it works every tool and weapon has a chance to lose either durability or gain a point in maintenance when you hit it with it Like, oh, my, my hammerhead's getting a little loose. Let me start jabbing it into their faces for a little while. There we go. That did it. I'm going to bother checking the bodies. We've got enough energy bars and stuff back at base. Yeah, I'm just getting things oh. that we can maybe use. Got excited. I saw a metalworking magazine, but it's... When we've already read. Ooh. We no, I feel like we've garages. already read all of them. I wonder if magazines can spawn on bookshelves or not. Uh, I'm pretty sure they can, because I believe when we first started... That's where I found a bunch of them. There's an Angler magazine on this one. I guess we're going into the houses too, then. Yep. Yeah. Oh, man. Two guitars and an electric bass. This must be where band practice was. We better wreck that challenger. Yeah, zombie apocalypse bumpers in this garage. <laughs> oh my God, I was able to put a silencer on a desert eagle. That. Feels hilarious to me. And a keytar upstairs. You see often. Ooh, nice triple bookshelves. No good magazines.
These houses have fireplaces in them. And if you can cook on those. I seem to recall being able to. Or at least something like it. I might be full of it. Usually are. Oh. Now it's raining. It's soggy. Oh, here's a fun little group. miss. Wasn't there an envelope that had um, a magazine or something in it? Yep, closed envelopes or closed sealed closed. envelopes. Okay. Well, yeah, I think it's sealed envelopes. Found a couple Manila, but uh, there was no interact options. Regular mail envelopes. Check mailboxes. Yep. First couple have been empty, quite disappointingly. I found the sealed envelopes there. I've seen a bunch. We've we've opened some before, but I just uh these mailboxes, this apparently is not a city of readers. Okay, went ahead to the school. Checked all the houses. All is a, is a relative term. So there's like 50 houses in this development. <laughs> I only okay. finished one. Well, I checked the three on the north side of the street. Looks like you checked this one. Maybe not. Nope. I did not check the one across the street from it. The Got corner it. one. Okay. 
man. Prescription aviators. Passion does come at a cost. So many zombies in this area. Are you taking care of things outside? Taking care of business. <laughs> nice. Nice hallway bookshelf. Um, is that a shotgun? Nope, just happy to see you. <laughs> I heard a very muffled, loud boom. Yep. <laughs> okay. It's uh, a little too condensed out here for, you know, individual killing. Here, um, I hear a lot of smashing of glass in the house that I'm in. Yep. Okay. I'm going to assume the worst, and I'm just going to sneak out the back. As you should. Boy, <laughs> there's a lot in that bathroom. It's pretty thinned out back here now. What happened in the front yard? Told you there were tons of them. It's 
why I had to swap to the shotgun. That's a lot of zeds. <laughs> it sure is. Uh, one coming, uh, still coming from all directions. Meanwhile, I'm re bandaging. Did you get bit? No, there's a burn on my hand. Oh. Man, I hate this angle. Depth perception always gets all wonky. It's safe to swap to a machete now. Neighborhood should be safer. Yeah, that's the whole neighborhood watch. You sure about that? No, not positive. It was only about 60 bullets. Oh man, some marmalade. You want some turkey baby food? Mm -hmm. Is it the mushed kind? It does not say. I'm going to have the lamb. Would you prefer the squash or the sweet potatoes? I think I'll stick to my own prepared stuff. You're really missing out. Yeah. Ooh. Gar. I'm sure we'll need that. Coffee. Staple. Need a mug to go with that. Strangely enough, the crackers are not rotten. Very small garages in this game. Yeah, they are. Only upstairs to check for bedrooms. I, I checked them already. Okay. Crackers don't rot. Nope. Do they just go the most stale? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I think the salt preserves them. That has not been my experience with crackers. Do you know what one of the worst things in the world is? I'm not saying the worst, but one of the worst things in the world. What? <laughs> not knowing that um, the oyster crackers that you have a whole handful of are very, very stale. Like just eating like a whole handful of the most stale oyster crackers is the worst. I don't think I've ever had a, a rotten oyster cracker. I don't know. They don't rot. <laughs> they just get stale. More coffee. Peanut butter? You like peanut butter. Cranberry jam. One? There's a lot going on over here. I'm not even checking those containers. Just looking where magazines can be found. It wasn't until that last house. I was a little hungry and baby food fit the bill. Ooh, here we go. 
Mm-hmm. Just entertainment books. Oh, that's a gunsmithing textbook. It shows that I've already read it for a couple of the bullets. We've got all the books. We just need magazines. A locksmithing book teaches how to make doorknobs and hinges. I don't think they know what locksmithing is. How many are being found in the, the pockets of the zombies? I don't think we even have to worry about that. That's true. <laughs> you should have put those oyster crackers in soup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good point, Mother of Chaos. Oyster crackers are delicious on their own, and they they do absolutely improve soup. But I love uh, I love oyster crackers. The best before your meal things, like um, skyline chili. Brings you a bowl of oyster crackers before your meal comes out, and it's it's nice to just snack on. Oh, absolutely! It's one of the uh, only really good things about Skyline Chili. You don't like it? I like it okay, but I feel like people are like, "Oh man, it's like a Cincinnati tradition." I was like, "This is some very sugary sweet sauce mm. that is pretty thin." <laughs> like, I feel like yeah, if you're looking for. Uh, chili on top of uh, spaghetti it's it's all right i feel like you could make it a lot better at home probably good i i do i like once i had it i was like oh this is a great idea i'm going to do it better i love uh putting chili on spaghetti is one of my favorite things it's really dark is really dark. I'm not loving that. In a safe bedroom somewhere. <laughs> Dirk, take me to dinner first. I meant your own bedroom. <laughs> oh, jeez. We were hiding around the corner in that room. <laughs> I thought you meant me coming in the door and I was like they don't open doors I went into the garage thinking it was safe because I backed away and didn't see any any zombies got the jump scare but they were in here Banging a door. Yeah. I thought they were in that laundry room, but they were not. I think it's coming from upstairs. Uh, Celtic folklore teaches you how to make a rune stone. No idea what that's for. No, I don't know either, but we don't have it. Or at least I haven't read it, so I grabbed it. We've got that back at base. You don't know when we're going to need rune stones. Oh, jeez. You okay? Yep, just a hole in clothes. Whoa. Yep, no jump scare warning on that one. Careful going up the stairs. Yeah, I heard uh, some blargy blarg noises. Just fell down. Not there. We go. There's someone coming down. Oh, pocket full of wood glue. Would that be in the container? And uh, white wine. Box screws. 
She was really riding out the uh, end of the world in style. Yeah. There's at least two zombies in this room. One's got a katana in them. That's pretty awesome. That's your katana if you want it. I'll take it. it might be the second one we found. Found a trash one on or a junk one. Or a fake one, huh? Not fake. I guess my dream is safe. It's in the gun case. 308 and an M14. Go to sleep. Chicken butt got holes. Jeez. Bit right through chain mail. How'd that happen? <laughs> there are a few things in this game that do bug me like that. Like, I get that they wouldn't feel pain, but human teeth are not going to chomp through chain mail. It's just not happening. Chain mail and my denim shirt. You need to repair that chain mail. How do you repair it? Like a smithing skill? No, it's, um, it's considered clothing, so just tailoring. After you get, what was it, tailoring eight, maybe? You can replace holes with the fabric that it's made of. Nice. You already have some M14 rifles, right? Yeah. Okay. Just gonna grab the magazine. The uh, 16s that are rare. Hello, zombies. Whoa. Chain mail's made out of cloth. <laughs> huh. Feels counterintuitive. Kind of so it's it's really just like a ring knit sweater. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Schnitz. <laughs> There's a pumice stone here. I'm not sure if you want to, you know, brush those rough spots on your feet off. You got time. It's okay. Okay. Nice posters. We can move on to the next house. Oh, it's the other half of the neighborhood watch. It's a Pull lot the of shotgun them. again. I try to do it silent. How many? How many could there be left? All of Louisville. <laughs> They're not going to hear that all from here. Oh, look at that kill pile. That's not as good as I thought it was. Yeah, it did feel like there was a bit of a, a Zerg rush going on, but then it leveled off pretty quick. Mm. 
Oh man, what's up, overalls? Doors open. Thanks. Got a juice box in case you get thirsty on the drive home. Oh, handy. God, I just had those windows reglazed. a mess in the bathroom yeah i wouldn't go in there oh a phone book uh, work on your hand strength <laughs> i don't know if there was someone you wanted to call i don't think cell phones were um popular enough back then to really have the option. Do you know what was wild? Like, this kind of blows my mind to think about. Do you know that cell phones were like the rich people's, uh, you know, status icon all the way back in the 80s? Like, it, it kind of makes sense when you think about it. Um, cause pagers became like the budget status icon, um, in the nineties, but, uh, I don't know. It still feels weird that like we had cellular. Oh man. Oh, whoa. Oh, is this one of those bathrooms that just have tons of them in it? Not better. No, they just, uh, did not appear until it was, uh, a little too late. That's how they got me at the car shop in this closet back here. Just one. Eight put newspapers. Two things on my back. Eight newspapers. That's a lot of newspapers. Same Maybe dates. <laughs> Maybe they're just saving them for the coupons. Ooh, box of 45. Be a paper boy, too. Next house. That's not the door. Where'd they come in from? Over here, in the north. Right. I sit. Nice. I don't know what they bit, but they tore some clothing. I'll have to check that out later. I have both cloth and leather on if you need patches. I guess I could shred some pants too, we'll get some denim. Should probably check that out. Ooh, and a denim jacket. 
It's a shame you can't rip. Oh, <laughs> I think I found out that if you give it one patch, enough to get the quality above zero, you can then rip yeah. it. I forgot I was wearing a formal shirt underneath all of this. It's protection. No, it's not. <laughs> this denim shirt's better. <laughs> Does it replace it? Yeah. Well, out of the starting options, it's the best. Because it's a long sleeve one, so you can add patches. Uh, incoming. <laughs> I want to be I thought one. Oh, yeah. One of them was you, so I, I got a little dangerous, unfortunately. Hey, Dirty Dan, yeah. welcome. That was the vibe I was going for. Uh, unfortunately, all of the military gear kind of covers it up, but early days, I was running around in, uh, I think, jeans and a dress shirt. Party casual. It was somebody. Got it. Want to get the door? Yep. Front door's open. Thank you. More duct tape. Did you open the garage? No. It's weird. I walked by and it opened up. Uh, were you spamming E? Maybe it wasn't locked? Nope. Uh, That's why I asked if you opened it. I did not. <laughs> Must be here, O'Brien. Oh, a certificate. Look, I'm authentic. I don't think you needed a certificate for that. You're so kind. Hi. Okay, bye. I opened the window and he like walked off. Sneak attack plan just failed. Upstairs? Yep. Did find birth control pills. I don't think I've ever seen those before in I, game. Yeah, I have not either. Interesting. And you know you're in a rich neighborhood when uh, you find guns in, like, every bedroom. Oh, a detective trench coat. That door is closed, Tommy. Are you... You're not doing... Yeah, you're in that other room. No, I... I have better things to do than to haunt you. Something's going on. Garage doors opening. Doors closing. It slammed right in my face. I think you're lagging out. Maybe. Got a gun case in their little side dresser here. Keep that little pea shooter around, right? Yeah. Uh, no, it's a, it's a shotgun. Well, best home defense. 
Full shotgun your nightstand. Okay. Moving on to the next one. Yep. Right behind you. It's a burnt out house. Military prepper. Driver, but it looks huge. Did you craft one? No, it was just something stuck in their back. Oh, yeah. Do you hear the cat? Um, I heard something that could have been a cat. It's very vocal at the moment. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Of all things not to burn up in this house, the fireplace is still there. And half a, half a couch. You know, when I was getting rid of my couch, I didn't think to try this method. Um, but it certainly would have made carrying it out of the house easier. Yeah. No, we're not. Should we really be in the second floor of a burnt out house? I don't think the floor burns away like the walls do. Just don't press E around the outside walls or you might jump out. I don't see anything really worth it in here anyway. Yeah, I mean light switches. We were in the market for light switches. Got got those. In the street. Oh, I look like it was going to be more. It's just four of them. Potential buyers. Here's your group. An Uzi. No, thank you. Maybe 12 or more coming in. That's something weird in him. Scrap machete. juggle back and forth. Mm -hmm. We did this? Yeah, we did this last. Yeah, we did it. It's empty. Myself a light snack. The doors open before I got to it. Did you go through it? 
Uh, I'm behind the house, but I might have searched this house. Did you go through the house? Because the door was locked for me, and then suddenly open. <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> there is something really weird with doors going on. Are you sure it's not you? I'm positive it's not me. Get the cat delivered. What did you say? I think I'm getting a cat delivered. Ah, delivered. <laughs> no. Nope. He does not want my lap. No co pilot. <laughs> It's a shame. I heard he's really good at this game. He is. His eyes spot everything that moves. rim glasses you at least a lobe impression oh my gosh Janet they're not home Do you ever have those neighbors that just like keep knocking? They will not stop. You want to borrow a tool? Oh, well. Um, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in situations like these, I find it's not constructive to point fingers. It happened as I opened a door upstairs, and I didn't think that's how it worked. <laughs> So do I come out and kill zombies, or do I hang out upstairs in a house that might get overrun? <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, if I were you, I'd get out of there. Probably nothing else in here. I like the shotgun, too. I feel like we've done a pretty Sorry. good job in this neighborhood. Might not be, uh, might not be too bad. Yeah, see, you're walking right past me. And we got double high fences on. Oh boy, right behind me. And double high fences on the, the north end make it pretty easily defendable since he can't jump those. Yeah. I mean, I don't really even see him. They're coming from my oh, yeah, there east. We go. Quite a few from the east, actually. Once, once I think I know where you're at, all of a sudden you'll work to a new location. <laughs> We're gonna loop these guys back around. I'm heading east. <laughs> You're in here superhuman teleporting capabilities.
man, I noticed a, a real difference when I went to exhausted or winded. Yeah. Pull out a gun. It takes a lot less effort to pull a trigger. That is true. Firefighter coming up behind you. Letting them get close so I can group them up. Oh, he, he thought it was way down here. It's pretty far west of that. is like I'm point blank. All right. Well, Want to take a seat somewhere? <laughs> In the second house, maybe. Yeah. I think that might be the one that you were working on, actually. No, be the third house. Uh, getting ready to infiltrate. Ooh, propane tank. Nice seating area upstairs. Oh, yeah? Little reading book. Oh, I saw one of those. Oh, not like this. I saw a room that was dedicated to reading. The first time I've seen that uh, open arrangement. That's kind of fun. Another metalworking monthly one that you've already got. I think we might need to hit that school. Is this Riverside? No, I think it's... Is this Riverside? I think this is, look, this is Louisville. Outer, greater Louisville area. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's right. You better check yourself, Mother of Chaos. <laughs> you still have the uh, map coordinates on my copy. That's where we're at. But you fell on the other side of the stairs and got stuck. <laughs> no. <laughs> Earlier, it looked like you had done that. You have to go on a sledgehammer hunt. Limited house models. Yeah, that, uh, that is something that bugs me sometimes. I think you should blame the housing developers. That's true. I'm trying to remember the name of them. It's one of them. One of the, the popular ones by us. Anderson? No. It's, I mean, it's not Bob's Builders, but it feels like something like Bob's Builders. Oh no, my tactical goggles. It looks like that's what tore. They were going for your eyes. I guess so. Tastiest bit. Get the front door. Did you just open the garage door? Or did it do it again? I, I think I just did it again. I walked by that door and it opened. I like that all of your questions are, did you suddenly break the rules of the game, appear in a different place, and open a door you're nowhere near? <laughs> but if I'm time, jumping all over no. the place, you must be too, right? No, I don't think I am. Because you are on my screen. There's a guy right there. Trying to do bad things to that door. No, door, baby. I swear, you're the only one. Is this house empty? Oh, oh, the man. container I got that. Oh, there we go. This one's got a, a couple melted bullets. blueberry popsicle. Absolutely eating this. Well, that was another one in the patch notes. Um, frozen ice cream got the, uh, the okay tag or something. Yeah, so okay I guess it was making. Yeah. yeah, okay for us. Something along those lines. I, uh, I, I don't think it's okay frozen, but it's tastes good when frozen instead of bad. It's no longer stale. Yeah. I can't uh, repair this bat. You got out of wood glue. It's an aluminum bat. Oh, right. I do remember seeing that doesn't have a raft hopper. That's too bad. That's Got a fine. prefix and a suffix on it. Yeah, so it's out of repairs, but uh, it's fine. Yeah, that, that front door just opened as I ran to it also. <laughs> I was about to stop and hit E. These are like Star Trek doors. I if my E key is just pounded in just enough that it's hitting <laughs> things but not getting everything. <laughs> That's why when playing Dwarf Fortress you're having such a hard time. You just kept Maybe. spamming E. What is E? That's set to on that. I'm sorry, did you teleport just right through that garage door? Nope, the middle part of the door has been broken down. No, I know. I was wondering if that was from you uh, blazing through it like oh. a human bullet. <laughs> Kool-Aid manning it? Yeah. <laughs> I saw that's a, a new TikTok trend. Kids running through fences. Oh. Welcome back. 
That's great. <laughs> oh, that was an old one. <laughs> no, I just meant or like... Is that something you did a long time ago? No, that just feels like I a... Said... I want to see TikTok man stuff. Or uh, TikTok man. <laughs> I want to see Kool-Aid man material. What, what late night talk show? I saw that on... It may have been Colbert. Oh, yeah, I guess I can clean some of these denim strips. This house is empty. This house is clean. <laughs> hey, Peter. The neighbor doesn't have a mailbox. Oh, they're that neighbor. I'll pay that postman's salary. He can come up and deliver it to my house. Ooh, your machete feels different. Yeah, did you feel it? I, I, no, you did, apparently. Your upgrade message shows globally, yeah. I guess. It's a stealth machete now. <laughs> sure. That one does. Why it kills, maybe? Yeah, I think it makes less noise. You know, kind of what's on the tin, I guess. Uh, my favorite song is playing. Oh, yeah? Oh, you mean in-game? Yeah. Yeah, I know which one you're that. talking about. Silent music button. No thank you. I've seen a lot of people complain about that song. One of those ones where you love it or you hate it. I feel like it's one of those ones where I didn't mind it at first, but now that I've heard it so many times, it has so many moments that stick out for me that they begin to grate. I'm going to learn how to play that for you. You're going to what? Learn how to play it for you. Yeah. I'm going to banjo and everything. No. Oh, you're thinking of a different song. You stand under your bedroom window and uh, high fidelity it for you. <laughs> Are you going to croon at me in that, uh, like, tonal, yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Derek, I will call the police. <laughs> Be like a cat on your fence. <laughs> We've had some coyotes lately. You're gonna have to put up with them. So less cats then, huh? Uh, I don't know how many outdoor cats we had. We definitely had uh, a few, but I have not not seen them. I don't know how many more negatives we can cram into that sentence. Oh, There's Red a Bull. wooden baseball bat upstairs for you. Nice. Mm, a green pumpkin. Take that. You can get the seeds out of it. Oh, yeah? Even if yep. it's rotten? Should be. Okay. That um, should be rotten, but it should be able to. Right. Green pumpkin.
Moving on. Are we in the same house? I don't think we are. I'm in the west corner house. What's cool is that blue building in the mini map? West corner. Okay. I will. Did you grab the bat or no? I did not. Okay. I can go back and grab it if you need. Um, oh, shoot. <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> Okay. For some reason my guy was really slow with his swinging. He's got another hole. Oh, I've actually got another aluminum bat. Good. Why am I walking so slow? This is not good. Oh, hello. I'm gonna jump a fence. I'm super thirsty, that's why. coming out of the woodwork yeah not sure why it's terrible timing it's starting to get dark too yeah are you by the school i jumped over the fence into the uh what do the kids call that game four squares I feel like I've got back on the road now. Captive audience behind me. Ooh. And you're at the school. Yeah. Do you want to go back to a house and sleep? Yeah. It's muzzle flashes. It was it tough? The server gods are real grumpy. You're teleporting all over the place. That zombie just teleported back and forth. Behind you, I think. here. I was hoping he had bullets on him. No dice. What are you looking for? Oh, just any. D 
No, I think I've got I've got some. I actually found a box and I just haven't had time to reload everything yet. Alright, let's go find a house or something to crash in. My nice shooting, Tex. Thanks. I don't know where you went. Doors. I'm upstairs in the second from the left house. Oh, Any right. house should do. Yeah, we're in different houses, but that's fine. Sleeping in a bed. In real life? Sounds like it. Almost. <laughs> Any of the magazines we need yet. Might need to hit a post office. That makes so much sense, but I'd never considered that. Not you. No. What's the DE forty four? No bullets found. Guess it wasn't a full box. The boxes have 30 rounds in them. All right, been back to the school. Bats have a stealth kill attack. He's doing a stealth kill attack. <laughs> well, like the knife, you can stab him in the head or whatever. Um, spears, you can, well, stab him in the head. I've genuine never. Genuine question. Yeah, it was a genuine question. Nope, they do not. Okay. Just knives and spears. to a school. So we'll have to break a window. You can't open the windows. I could try. Is it, <laughs> I always remember like in uh, elementary and middle school how the windows were like ancient, built a million years ago, and you couldn't open them, not because they didn't open, but because they had ceased functioning as windows and they no longer opened. <laughs> Soap. Man, there's so many electronics in these.
we were at the door. I'm, I thought you were asking me if I was at the just, door. And I was like, nope. Uh, <laughs> did the magic door thing too and let them in when I wasn't ready. <laughs> stamp that I've seen. Sealed envelope. There are crossed. three cash registers in this bank of desks. That's insane. Uh -huh. Maybe they're learning their numbers. Maybe. Sort of puzzle. Mm. Sealed envelope. My kids' preschool teachers had cash registers, and they would pretend they were store clerks to learn their numbers. That's kind of fun. This isn't elementary school, so... Oh, uh, here, Dirk, I got something oh, yeah. for you. Elementary school shouldn't have a soldering gun in there. Would you... Drop it on the floor. Oh, no. <laughs> they shouldn't have those in their desks, either. Right. <laughs> I was staying at my dad's place over the weekend. Look what I found. Kind of comic books. so funny how we can find so many books so many times but then when we finally need a couple specific ones it just turns into like a real search i don't think it's because they're considered more rare either i think it's just luck of the draw yeah or not luck right Another sealed envelope. Good luck. Uh, herbalist guide. <laughs> oh, my uh, latest issue of Hottie Z. Oh, nice. I know you're supposed to pronounce that hotties, but that's just, that's awful. <laughs> really appropriate children's school right? magazine. <laughs> I'm not liking the percentage rate that we're finding these adult books in, uh, in this school. More coded to be found often in desks and lockers. Where are the Republicans? There is far too much pornography in this school. Well, back then they didn't really have the internet for it. <laughs> We've been through this one yeah just your typical stuff and as soon as we need get into soldering
Hey guys, be with you in a minute. Fine, or right now. Okay. Heck yeah, gummy worms. It's always the kid's desk, too. Like, it's not like creepy you look in the teacher's desk and there's a bunch of, like, gross stuff. No, it's just the kids. That's it. Good. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, I was going to say good, but I was like, I don't know if that's the proper observation to make. So then I just left it as factual. I feel like, I mean, never mind. <laughs> I saw a book bag and I was like, sweet, a bag full of books. Turns I out. call them backpacks. <laughs> no, Very it friendly. clearly says book bag. Spoiler alert, it was empty because that's not how words work. I give them the nuns. Well, rainbow chocolate candy. <laughs> I don't think Ooh. I've seen that before. I found some rainbow fruit candy. Yeah. I wonder it's if it tastes skittles. like a rainbow. I can't imagine rainbow tastes good. That's where you'd be wrong, my friend. Got another adult magazine. These kids. <laughs> One of these days I'll manage to catch your YouTube stream or your tube stream. Tuesday. Wow, I'm good at reading. Sorry, it's a uh, screaming baby. Yeah, it's a little baby of chaos having a moment. New chaos to your life. That's two adult magazines in this room. He likes to Maybe fight they, and sleep. They were trading. I like to imagine him with like a smudge under each eye, like putting up his little baby dukes. He's like, come at me, sleep. I ain't afraid of you. It's a library. Hopefully it's in there. That'd be much more enjoyable. As a mental image, at least. I know I have a dumb idiot grin on my face thinking about it. I think a baby having an adult, like, Jersey accent is pretty funny. Anyway. It's got to be one of those in the boss baby. <laughs> I used to watch that show in the movies. Did, um, so you have seen that movie? Um, mostly vicariously, I guess. 
Uh, not really paying attention, but getting the scoop of it from the kids. Vicarious. <laughs> I, I have, so we were babysitting my niece, uh, my wife and I, and she wanted to watch that movie. It wasn't, it wasn't bad. It wasn't good. It was very surreal. Like it, it just, it was an uncomfortable movie. There was so much about it that was uncomfortable. <laughs> because you watched it as a grown up? Well, I... being a child only grants you naivete, right? You're, you're watching, you don't know <laughs> that it's wrong, but like, <laughs> that movie's not right. <laughs> Uh, boss baby. Boss baby. But the first zombie's in the school. He's in the kids' room. Where the view is. library was a bust there's a lot of teasers and there are like four different metalworking magazines all that we already read yeah same i mean not at that quantity who was shamrock spiffo i have to grab that but yeah it was like metalworking for dummies metalworking this and all of them were red Ooh, teacher's lounge. I just killed Chef in South Park. Huh. I think this is the Dean's office. Do uh, they have Deans for elementary schools? <laughs> no. I guess the closest would be superintendent. I, I think I meant the principal. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. You had a foxy flirt. Nice. One of the finest sodas. This was back before sodas got taken out of schools. Finding the right word is hard. It <laughs> yeah. really is. I, I try not to make too much fun of uh, Derg, only because it affects him first. And then as we get later into the night, the words absolutely escape me as well. You know what I don't miss? Scanners. Not one bit. There was like a whole desk drawer full of them. I had so many terrible experiences with scanners. It's to be one of those things I would buy like every year. Yeah. Scanners absolutely have their use, but I think um, we found some other alternatives that made it not necessary, like going paperless. And I'm also no longer in uh, a job where scanners are required, which I'm very thankful for, because keeping them running under all circumstances is just the worst. It's no way to live. You already check upstairs? I am checking upstairs. I think I'm in the second to last classroom. Well, maybe a third to last. Oh, 
Oh, my workplace didn't need copies of everything. Is there a way, I don't know enough about, about your work, but is there a way that, uh, like, is it just somebody holding on to having paper copies of things? Um, I find that's the case too. Sometimes it's just people like or are comfortable with paper copies of things. And then you just have it for way too long. It sticks around forever until that person leaves. They want digital and hard copies of things. I hated that. That always drove me crazy. It's like, here's a PDF. And it was like, yeah, but I want to hold it in my hands. I'm doing an impression of somebody that I worked with. And it's impeccable, I assure you. Um, yeah. He's this crazy old guy who would embrace technology and shun it at the same time. He insisted on having a, like this really expensive scanner and he would scan everything and he used, God, what was it called? Some type of document management system. It was like uh, Paperport, maybe? I think it was called Paperport. And anyway, it, it was like document categorization metadata and organization way before you know evernote and all these other things coming out or you know google docs anything like that uh so he was like you know super into digitizing all the stuff to have it in there but then anytime he's doing anything anytime there was a meeting or anything else he had to have a printout paper copy of everything it was just aggravating yeah, state government is notorious for that. I think seconded only by uh, the medical industry, which is what my previous job was. So much paper. <laughs> In the time... <laughs> this is one of those time uh, <laughs> memes just in the making. We've been in here for so long that one of the zombies decomposed into a skeleton. Didn't think it was that fast. <laughs> we know we've just been here that long. Oh. Yeah, the printing is so unnecessary. It always drives me crazy. We, we have so many devices that can replicate that touch and feel that just having it like printed out on copier paper is absolutely a waste. Oh, was that <laughs> corpse rotted when I came in? I don't remember seeing in the bones. Most likely it was. All right. I'll trust you this time. Books in a hard format. That is, I'm real mixed on that. I love my Kindle. Um, I think e-paper is absolutely the way to go for me. Um, I like to have variety, even if I'm not going to read 30 books at once. I like to have the option to choose. And I think an e-paper display is uh, a great way to do it. Staring at a screen and reading is a terrible experience for me. I think the inside sets nommed a bit before you got there. <laughs> um, although for comics, um, I've had a great experience on like a, a surface tablet. Um, there's some really good comic reading apps and being able to like zoom in and really appreciate the artwork. Um, it's been really cool. And the convenience of just having a bunch on there. Yeah, I feel what you mean. Um, having the book is sometimes like a, can be a better focus tool. Um, I think I can agree with that, but uh, the Kindle's so light and I feel like what keeps me interested is not having the hand or wrist fatigue and needing to switch back and forth. You know, I can just sit there and read and um, 
just kind of stay in the moment longer. But I agree, like, sometimes getting absorbed in a book is very attractive uh, in paper format. That's you. That is me. I was just shooting things on the other side of the fence. Yeah, I could tell. I'm gonna go back in. I think the school's pretty much all checked now. Yeah. School was a bust. <laughs> the truth comes out. <laughs> Yeah, I can definitely rip through books on my Kindle, which I really appreciate. Um, yeah, so my wife and I have been joking about this for the longest time. We keep uh, challenging each other to uh, start writing like schlocky romance novels just for the money. And, uh, you know, you look and you see on Amazon, there's just like tons and tons of them for like, you know, you don't need a publisher or anything else. It's 99 cent sale and you can get your book on you know amazon and it's you know a lot of his glorified fan fiction so it's uh it's funny and romance novels have been around for so long i remember uh <laughs> my great grandmother <laughs> um she used to always read these books i remember every like even when I was a little kid, she was always reading these little books. Uh, and they always had like the same, you know, thickness, um, the same kind of like blocky covers. And at some point, um, she had passed away and we were like going through the house and cleaning things up. And I actually like popped open and breezed through a couple of them because they'd been on a bookshelf forever. They were all pretty, pretty horny romance novels. <laughs> It's like, all right, great grandma, get it. All right, Derek, where you at? Still in that parking lot. It's uh, quite a lot of zombies in that corner. Just trying to thin them out a little bit before jumping the fence or something. I'll come out by you wherever you are. I'm in this car right in front of you. White one? Yep. So gas? Let's find or out. Or are you just hanging out? And uh, not safe. Yeah, no gas, but it's in great shape. Visually. Let's check under the That's hood. The side of it's all mashed up. Are we looking at the same car? 87 Toyota Land Cruiser? Oh, that one. So not the one in front of me. Yeah, nothing in it. Gas tank is worn out, and the, the seats are not in great condition, but the body and everything looks pretty good. There's some gas in it for you. Nothing else that can get us around a little bit. Start. Cargo. So you need to hotwire it? I already did. Go cargo. Oh, battery's dead. It's in good condition, so it showed up green, but the remaining is zero. The zombie coming in. Right. from that gas back out unless you want to steal a battery from one of the other two cars. Let's do that. It's an easy one to fix, luckily. Is 
This battery's dead. No Argo of Escargo. <laughs> That's a Dirk level pun. Another good condition battery that is dead. I noticed that in uh, another location, in the attempt to come back from a killing run, where all the batteries were dead. I wonder if it's an overtime thing. I, I don't know if that's base game. I feel like a mod does that, or at least I saw a mod that did that. Hmm. Well, yeah, let me siphon the gas and uh, we can just come back for it later if we need it. Not that we don't already have a menagerie of vehicles. You have a container to put the gas into. Oh, didn't you just have a gas can? I did. But you said, let me siphon the gas. And you oh. work towards the car. So. Uh, let's siphon the gas. And it was the, the royal let's, meaning you. Got it. Maybe, maybe you wanted something as a backup. Like, oh, I always have a little bit of gas on me. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, that's just your diet. That's gas in me. <laughs> Hopefully, and sometimes it sneaks out. <laughs> Ew, Dirk, don't drink that. Well, school's a bust. Um, I'll have to raid some other houses or take a look for another bookstore. And there's a uh, convenience store that we can hit. Probably do that and then call it a night. Sounds like a plan. This is kind of late already, though. Uh, let's make our way back to the car. I think we can jump the fence. That would be easier. We'll see if we make it back to the car. This Dirk has been summoning out all of Louisville. What my kind of one? <laughs> this is pretty forested through here. Yeah, and there's Watch a back. group of five coming through here. A little more than five. This outfit. This is still twitching. And I can't target it. Yeah, I've had that happen uh, a few times usually means that it's going to disappear. Yeah, he is good at that. What if I thought I'm bringing out your dad? <laughs> Ours are on the other side of this, isn't it? I see a bunch of dead bodies. Good indicator. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Break out your dad. Attacking this guy. Not decide where it was so it wouldn't hit it with anything. I thought it was yeah. going to die to it. You were going in a very different direction than the zombie one. Need a, a minute to take a peek at the map. Yeah, my back. I yep. see one coming up from south. Okay. So we take this road west and then north on the corner. And you should be able to see the blue buildings on the minimap. And I think those are what we're looking for. West and then north. Oh, 
Oh. Pull out my shotgun again. <laughs> Maybe they're just bunched up there. Maybe. We are driving far enough away that we might not be following the whole distance. Okay, uh, the blue building's there, so turn right here. Ooh, howdy there, partner. Would you be able to go in there? I was gonna but you might get stuck. Yeah, it's gonna look for a different, different entrance. Oh, that's a church. Maybe it's the green buildings. Well, I thought green meant a uh, restaurant. Okay, so we're not sticking around? Uh, check that other building. There's two blue buildings here. One is definitely not it, and the other you almost got close enough to see what it was, and then you turned around. All right. Driving like you. Okay, it's another church. So check these green buildings here. On a boat trailer. All right. Well, there's a lot Did going you... on. What does that mean? Hop out, or are you? Okay, so oh, we're not uh, checking out what the building is no, or what? We, we are, sorry. I wanted to get to okay. a safe to get out place. Oh, okay. That's what you call this. Yeah. All I right. thought it was Teesburg with no. just getting close enough that he thinks you're going to see it. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm getting up. Rip him up. Oh, and there goes that bat. use this tactical ninja sword like that's a thing. Get that from the mall. No idea. I think I found it on a corpse. There are, um, there's a lot of zombies here. Between the blue and the green buildings. Okay. Now in the parking lot by the boat dock. Not dock. Whatever you call boat, it. Boat trailer? Boat trailer. Need to get them all grouped up so I'm getting at least four per shot. upgrades, but I <laughs> can't stop long enough to see what they are. <laughs> Didn't need that windshield. Yeah. I don't see gas pumps over here, so I don't think these are the right buildings. Okay. I'd have to look at the actual map. This 
maybe give that a minute. Are you saying you don't have my back to look? <laughs> At this moment, no. Noted. Soon, though, maybe. Oh, jeez. Oh, lag spike. Not good. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Yeah. You make it out okay? Yeah. I just had to run through, like, I don't know, 50 of them, probably. And it froze right in the middle. Oh, jeez. Uh, turn it around. <laughs> Found some more. Surprise. Got rid of the first big group that I found. It looks like you've taken care of it. Oh, there you are. Yep, careful. I think I've got most of the group, but it's still pretty thick. Yep. Grabbed a, grabbed a chunk off you. Okay. It's like a restaurant. Oh, there you are. It's time to swap back. That was a lot. Was, yeah. Is that how all of Louisville's gonna be? <laughs> Probably. Big tactical ninja sword of joy. Oh, nice. Well, luckily, there's another uh, Jeep Wrangler or whatever over here. Or over up. It's like up north, I think. We could the get the one. other windshield off of that. All right, yeah. There's a zombie around here, but I don't see it. I got it. It was down here. Okay. Well, do you want to hide out in this church? Yeah, we could see it in a pew if the windows aren't all broken. There's an office. Okay. That door opened on its own. <laughs> I thought you opened it. I was working on the other door. Something's getting banged on. Must be upstairs. Oh, 
Sounds like you found it. It's in a closet with no windows. We can go grab folding chairs and put them in there. Or a bathroom if you prefer. Uh, yeah, probably. One of those, well, the closet's probably good. <laughs> yeah, I think we're calling it here. Thank you for joining us. Have a good night. Fun little raid. We'll catch you again next Tuesday. Have a good night. Good luck with that. <laughs>